Greetings, food surfers. It's Eric Surf Six. Welcome to the Beal Time Show. We are at a flower viewing party today. That's right. It's called Hanami, and we got to go shopping first and get some food. All right, and then we'll be back. We're gonna have a feast. We are all set up, and what do we have for this feast, do you ask? We've got six bentos right here, six bento lunch boxes from the Isetan department store. They got the best food, trust me, good stuff. And we've also got two appetizers here in the front and a dessert as well, too. The question is, how are we gonna get through all this food? Should we invite some more people? Can I do this all by myself? You guys are gonna help me. All right, let's do this. Appetizers first, shall we? This is three gorgeous looking pieces of quiche. That's right, quiche from a Japanese department store. Pretty nice looking. Oh yeah. This is a treat. It's a gorgeous day today at the park in Shinjuku. This is called Shinjuku Gyoen Mai. It's a gorgeous government park. You have to pay 500 yen to get in, but it's definitely worth it. It's about $4 US. And it is just a fabulous day today. It rained yesterday, so today's the day. Yeah, all right. Going in for the quiche. The quiche, baby. It's 
been ages since I've had quiche, so what, how would you describe quiche? To me, it's like an egg pie. Mm. Oh, it's rich. That is really good. Oh my gosh. The pie crust is super soft. And what kind of goodies are in here? I think there's some shrimp. There's definitely some spinach. Lots of egg, maybe some mayonnaise. Mmm. So creamy. Oh, that's good. We could stop right here and I would be satisfied. No, 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 no. Appetizer number two, moving on. This is an Indian appetizer. It's from a curry place. Got a nice cheese kebab here. Look at that, look at the colors on that. Gorgeous. Some sauce. It's like a piece of fish here. And then some shrimp. And what do we have here? Is that wasabi? <laughs> Not wasabi, but it's definitely spice. Spice for something. Okay, should we do the skewer first? Yes, we shall. Look at that gorgeous looking skewer. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's lovely. Chicken breast. Oh, it's gonna beautiful spice. I'm just gonna take a bite of each one of these. Mm -hmm. More chicken breast. Mm -hmm. Chicken masala. Oh, it's nice. This one. Oh, that's nice. I like a sausage. That is tasty. Mm, and that pepper, nice and fresh. Let's do a little bit of the sauce. A little bit of the sauce, not too much. Because I think that's going to be really spicy. Is it spicy? It's Indian food, it's got to be spicy. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh. I love the spiciness of the Indian food. Oh, so good. All right, moving on. Let's do the shrimp, shall we? Like tandoori shrimp. I don't think I've ever had this before. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at the coloring on that. And it comes peeled. How wonderful is that? Oh. So meaty. The flavor going on. That is so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, and we got one more piece here. Is this fish? Oh, that's that's heavy. I think this is it's a fish tikka, it's called. I believe. Let's see if we can get into it. Definitely the sauce. It's not too spicy, but it's nice. Mmm. Oh, that's some tasty fish. Beautiful texture. All right, let's grab some tea here. Ah, oh, it hits the spot. Unsweetened tea. Tokucha. Yeah, premium. <laughs> All right, let's hit up the bentos, shall we? I don't know where to start. We've got an amazing assortment of stuff here. This really looks just grand. I'm gonna start with the sushi. I'm gonna go sushi first. This is just some beautiful, beautiful sushi. Okay, let's open her up. Tricky to get this tape off. There we go. Oh, 
there it is. Get in there for a close-up. Oh, look at that fatty tuna. Oh, that looks gorgeous. So we've got the extra fatty tuna there, those two pieces. This is the chew toto medium fatty tuna. And then we've got the rolled sushi. So they're all tuna. And then some gari there, which is gari, which is pickled ginger. So we use some new chopsticks. Gotta eat sushi without Indian curry on them. And we also need to prepare the wasabi. Yeah, lots of wasabi here going in. Okay, so we got that. Some new chopsticks and some shoyu. Okay. Ooh. Okay, that should be fun. A little bit of spillage there, but that's okay. All right, this is exciting. This is exciting. I'm gonna start with a little bit of the ginger. Mm-hmm. Mm. Freshens the mouth. Now we're ready to taste that tuna. I'm gonna do the roll first this is just the basic tuna and then we'll go up in grade so there we go mm. oh that is fabulous really good quality tuna oh my gosh then we've got two higher grades right here okay let's do the medium medium fatty tuna just gorgeous pieces of fish. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Take the time to savor it. It's so soft. Oh my. Okay, we've got one more yet. One more. This is the extra oily fatty tuna. You can tell just by looking at it, huh? Oh my goodness. Super deluxe. Mmm. Mmm. I think I actually like the medium better. This is really oily. It disappears as soon as you put it in your mouth. Hardly have to chew it. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, that is fabulous. Let's do this one. This is an unagi bento, freshwater eel, cooked eel in a deep sauce, deep tangy sauce. And then there's some Sancho pepper on here. This is a real treat. This type of pepper here tingles when you put it on your tongue. It's right on to the unagi eel. And then the sauce is also in the rice as well too, so the rice is flavored, which is nice. Well, I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my tongue, see if it tingles. Is there any left? Ooh, it was tingly. Wow, more like a drug than pepper. Goodness, that's nice. Okay, going in. Look at that unagi. Oh my gosh, if you've never tried eel before, it's worth a try, because it's so meat-like. I'm gonna go in with the rice too. Gonna eat this the Japanese way. You have to have some rice with it. Mmm. Oh. Oh boy, that's good. That's so creamy. And like I said, meat-like. It does not taste like fish. And the rice is nice too, tastes just like the eel. Let's do sandwiches, shall we? Let's go a little Western style. 
these are really interesting, these sandwiches. Just because of the way they present them. Look how gorgeous these are. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? So we've got scrambled egg or egg salad. And then we've got roast beef, I believe. And is that sauerkraut? Comes also with some spaghetti and then some pickles over here. Interesting, huh? All right, let's do the egg salad first. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. There's a pureness to egg salad. It's just egg and mayonnaise. The bread is nice and fresh. And actually, there's a nice flavor on the bread. I don't know what it is, but it's really good. Okay, and let's open this one up a little bit. So there's the roast beef. It's like some pickles. I mean, it looks like sauerkraut to me. Is that broccoli on there? What? Broccoli on a sandwich? Mmm. Oh, it works. Very interesting. Isn't it mashed potatoes. And it's pretty god, pretty doggone tasty. Yeah. And it's on the wheat bread. Mm-hmm. Let's try the pickles now. Pickles, olives, peppers, onion. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. We got a tomato here. Is that a sun-dried tomato? With maybe cheese in it? Mm-hmm. Cream cheese. Oh, it's nice. Good combo. Mm-hmm. And what do we have here? Is this an onion? Mystery item. I'll let you know. Oh, it's an onion. Pickled onion. Mmm. Very nice. Spaghetti. I'm not a big fan of spaghetti, but let's try this. Cold spaghetti in a lunchbox. Mmm. Not bad. I like the sausage that's in there. Yeah, that's tasty. I'm gonna take a little break here. Work up an appetite. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's get back to it. Okay, round two, ladies and gentlemen, and this one is calling me right here. This is the most deluxe of them all, I believe. Beautiful presentation, beautiful colors. Lots of different items. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. So in the center here, this is called Ebi Mayo or <laughs> shrimp and mayonnaise. And then we've got another shrimp here. It's like some potato salad. Maybe some chicken there, it's like chicken nuggets. Another salad there. That looks like salmon. Some kind of salad there. Roast beef. And some roast beef chunks, perhaps. Lots of goodies. Okay. Going in. Going in for the salmon. Got to start with the salad. That salmon falling apart. Mm. Oh, it's nice. Smoked salmon. Mm hmm. Potato salad. What's next door here? This is a ham, ham and potato, or ham macaroni salad. Yeah, that's what this is ham and macaroni. 
Mm -hmm. That's tasty. Let's tune in there too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over here, chicken perhaps, or sweet and sour pork maybe. Chicken. Mm -hmm. And a sweet and sour sauce covered in nuts. Oh, it's fabulous. And over here, beats me. Potato salad, <clears throat> again, a different type, the more creamy. And then we've got some, is that roast beef chunks? Oh, roast beef and onions. Oh my goodness, that's fabulous. Let's try the sliced roast beef. This is served over onions too. Nice. Tastes different than the chunky type. I kind of like the chunky type better. Mm-hmm. And it's a steak. That's the difference. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's good. Mm-hmm. We got a little salad over here. Beautiful color, huh? some cabbage. Mm-hmm. Pickles. Mm-hmm. Pickled cabbage. Pickled peppers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Going in. Should we do the shrimp? Let's do the mayonnaise. We did one of these already. So we'll do the these granddaddy. These look at the size of these things. So it's breaded as well too. Oh. Let's look at the inside. The perfect mix of flavors. If you like mayonnaise, this is a great way to eat shrimp. Oh. The breading is nice and soft. And the mayonnaise is kind of sweet. A sweetness to it. And maybe that's the breading. But, oh boy. It's banging. I guess we got to do this. Let's do this. Because I'm dying to know what kind of sauce is on here. Oh, sweet sauce. Oh, chili sauce. Mmm. Quite different from the Indian. Yeah, they're both good. Next up, we're going over here to this salmon, this salmon. Look at the color on that. It's gorgeous looking, isn't it? So this is a pretty standard looking bento, but that piece of salmon, oh, look at that. Gorgeous cooked salmon. Mmm. Oh. Mm, that's awesome. Mmm. And nicely salted. Mm-hmm. We got some burdock root here and carrots. Mm-hmm. This is a bit of scrambled rolled egg. Mm-hmm. This is called Chikawa fish keg. And some lettuce, plastic lettuce, you don't want to eat that, and some noti seaweed on top of rice. Can we get a bite? Yes, we can. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. And some more salmon. Mmm. Lovely. Did I save the best for last? Look at that steak on there, thinly sliced, marinated. This is a shishito pepper. I love these little peppers. 
they got a little bite to them. Mm. Mm hmm. Just the right amount of spice. Mm hmm. And look at this thinly sliced marinated meat. Oh, it looks so good. Let's get two slices here. Going in. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh so good. It's in a sweet sauce. Mmm. It's like candy almost. Oh my gosh, it's good. Tasty beef. Sticky rice. Pickled ginger. Potato salad. Let's get some of the onions here too. Oh, look at that. Sesame seeds in there as well too. Mmm. Oh, I right, have meaty. Meaty, meaning you get quite a bit of meat. On a typical bento, you get maybe a third. There's quite a bit of meat on here, which is nice. Now, yeah. okay, moving along to dessert, ladies and gentlemen. Who's hungry for some dessert? Me. Today's dessert. It's in this box right here. Because it's bento lunch boxes, right? Even the dessert comes in a box. Ready? In three, two, one. Oh! Look at that! Two desserts. So we'll do this one first. This is the strawberry mochi. So mochi pounded rice. And I don't know if there's gonna be onko inside there or not. Yes, there is. So, strawberry first. Mm-hmm. There's a sweet bean paste inside. Mm-hmm. Lots of sweet strawberry. Mm-hmm. The three go together nicely. Yeah, wow. Very refreshing sort of taste. Okay, and this one, this is called Sakura Mochi or Cherry Blossoms Pounded Rice, I guess, right? There's the cherry blossom right there. A real cherry blossom in a cherry leaf. Lovely presentation. Ready? Go right in. Oh, the cherry blossom's got a bitterness to it. How about the leaf? We try the leaf too. I believe it's all designed to be eaten. Oh, salty. That's nice, the salt takes away the bitterness of the leaf. But all oh, that's nice. And you can see the color on the mochi. It's kind of pink for the sakura cherry season. Lovely dessert. What a way to finish it, huh? Mmm. Well, all in all, this was a splendid day. Beautiful day at the park. I've done a lot of these videos in the past, but I think like every year I try to come out here and do one. Last year I think it was really windy or something. There's all something. Today was perfect. The blossoms are full. It's a gorgeous day. It could be blue sky. That's the only thing. It's kind of a gray day, but I like it because it's not too windy. And as far as the food goes, it was amazing. Everything was just, we did a good job selecting the bentos today, if I may say so myself. Sometimes it's hit and miss on the bentos. Something looks good, but it's not really, but all of these items were top notch. It's a six out of six of the Eric heads. I'm doing a giveaway. If you guys aren't familiar, there'll be a link on the screen. You can check out the goodies that I send from Japan, hand selected by me. To enter, all you have to do is put a comment down below and I'll select three winners in the very next Eric Meal Time. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.